on. So basically, we're going to be looking at uh, cells today, um, and we're going to be looking deeper into the two main types of cells, which are prokaryotic and eukaryotic. So prokaryotic cells are very simple, not a lot going on, um, and they also have no membrane-bound organelles. Um, organelles are parts of the cell that uh, serve specific functions for that cell, and uh, prokaryotic cells have no membrane-bound organelles, so the organelles are not uh, covered by a membrane. Here is an example of a prokaryotic cell. Right, so this is basically very poor rendering of uh, a bacterium, a single bacteria. Um, and there are several structures in here that we should label. Uh, the little dots are the ribosomes. On the outside, there is a cell wall. There's also a plasma membrane. So now that we have that labeled, let's look a little bit deeper into eukaryotic cells, which are a little more complex. Um, and within the eukaryotic cells, you are going to find organelles with membranes. draw an example of a eukaryotic cell here. That's some of the organelles and different parts of this eukaryotic cell. As you can start to see there's a few more structures in here than you're going to find in the prokaryotes. However, some do remain the same. In the eukaryote, we have a nucleus. Ribosomes are also found well as a cell wall and a plasma membrane in this particular type of cell. In this cell, we also find chloroplasts and mitochondria. And the chloroplasts in the cell wall should uh, give you a hint that this is a plant cell. And within this plant cell, um, the organelles are basically suspended in a sort of uh, substance that is known as the cytoplasm. And that concludes uh, the section on the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells.